Millie Bobby Brown and her boyfriend, Jake Bongiovi, became red carpet official with their debut at the 2022 BAFTAs back in March. And it just seems like the perfect time to throw back to the weird little nuggets in Millie's dating history. Not a lot of 18-year-olds can boast of multiple Emmy nominations, but not a lot of 18-year-olds are Millie Bobby Brown. And maybe that's why her love life is constantly under public examination. But some of her exes have definitely given us enough reason to take a closer look at some of the weird things that don't make sense about Millie Bobby Brown's boyfriends. Too young to date? Millie Bobby Brown burst into the global limelight with her stellar performance as Eleven in the hit science fiction series Stranger Things. When she was cast in the role, the actress was just 12 years old. But when you are in Hollywood, childhood can be a myth. After all, she had to have her first kiss on set. So when news of a relationship between Millie Bobby Brown and musically star, singer, and influencer Jacob Sartorius first came up online, it was seen as something cute and adorable. But Millie was just 13 years old then, and Jacob was 15. While the fact that they were dating wasn't enough controversy in itself, the fact that Millie was barely a teenager and had her relationship put on blast by the media has always been a bit weird. And it led to some fans wondering if she was too young to have been romantically involved at all, especially with all the drama that crept up after their breakup. But we'll get into that later in this video, so be sure to stick around. Before Millie confirmed the relationship with a now-deleted Valentine's Day post in 2018, rumors about the relationship were already at full speed, and it raised concerns with a lot of people. As one Twitter user commented, I was put off by Jacob Sartorius and Millie Bobby Brown dating too, but only because I see Millie as such a lovely young talent for the Z generation to look up to, and I see Jacob as kind of the opposite, but like, it's really not cool for people to get too involved in this. Continuing the thread, the user went on to say, They're literally 13, and it's weird that so many adults are hyper-focused on this. They're so f***ing young. Like, I thought I was f***ed up when everyone used to get involved with Miley Cyrus, back when she was 15. These kids are even younger. I don't know, stay out of it, weirdos. One comment under the deleted tweet announcing Millie and Jacob's relationship compared Millie's childhood to the user's, as it read, When I was your age, I was afraid of my PlayStation 2 disc not starting up. It doesn't make any sense that Millie was dating and doing so under public scrutiny at 13 years old. But it gets even weirder when you consider the age difference between her and some of her real-life love interests. Too old for her. When Millie Bobby Brown dated Jacob Sartorius, she was 13 and he was 15. There's nothing particularly scandalous about teenagers with about years in age difference, dating. But there is one relationship in Millie's archives that stands out for its questionable age difference. It's the chaotic relationship she had with Hunter Echo. In 2021, pictures of Millie Bobby Brown and popular TikToker Hunter Echo surfaced on the internet. And from all poses and postures, it was obvious that the two had been a thing at some point. But what doesn't make any sense is the fact that they apparently met and became romantically and sexually involved when Millie was just 16 years old and Hunter was 20. A full-grown man grabbing a teenager? This takes the bite away from weird to downright predatory. Nasty breakup. When the news first came out, fans were outraged on Millie's behalf because there had been rumors surrounding her friendship with singer-rapper Drake. And then it was coming out that a 20-year-old had been involved with her to imaginable extents. As one user expressed, TikToker Hunter Echo, Essimovic, has admitted to trying to groom Millie Bobby Brown when she was 16 and he was 20. I hate that she's been a constant target of this, even since Drake. It's all sick, but it got even weirder when Hunter decided to address the issue on an Instagram Live that went downhill very fast and further incriminated himself as he said some seriously foul and explicit things, detailing his relationship with Millie. In response to a comment about him, an adult, knowingly dating a kid, Hunter answered on the IG live stream, I know, I groomed her. By mentioning all the inappropriate details of the predatory relationship, Hunter basically admitted to stutatory rape 
and try to justify it by saying, like I said guys, I'm not digging no grave because everything that I did was completely legal and it was approved by everybody that I was with. And that just leads us to the next weird thing about Millie Bobby Brown's dating history. Zero PG. You may be wondering where were her parents in all of this drama with Hunter Echo and how they were okay with Millie and Jacob being so public with their relationship in 2018. Well, Millie's family is known to be close-knit, so it's very weird to think that everything that went on with Hunter Echo may have happened and chose not to do anything. Hunter claimed that he lived with Millie, spent her money, and was sexually involved with her, all with the knowledge of her parents. In the very disturbing IG Live, Hunter actually said that, there's no lawsuit at all. I was living in Millie's house for eight months. How the fuck is there a lawsuit? Her mom and dad knew about everything. And that doesn't make any sense because it should never be a possibility. But while there is no official report about how true this is, fans seem to believe that it's very possible that Millie's parents were not as concerned as they should have been about their 16-year-old daughter being sexually involved and living with a 20-year-old. In fact, it almost seems like they encouraged it, one Twitter user said. What really bothers me about the Millie Bobby Brown situation is that there's all this talk about Hunter Echo and what he said, but where's the talk about Millie's parents letting him move into their house? Where's the parents when the media wants to rush Millie into adulthood? The thread continues with another tweet. Where's Millie's agent when they want to throw a 30-year-old's makeup on her 13-year-old face? Where's the verbal denouncement from her family when she gets labeled a sexiest by W Magazine when she was 13 fucking years old? This didn't start with Hunter, but he did get in because of it. The ever-present public gaze. Millie dating early, dating someone way older than her, and allegedly being involved in activities that have fans debating her legally consensual involvement are a huge part of all the weird stuff that makes no sense about her past relationships. But what makes it all so weird is the fact that her choice of boyfriends constantly seems to place her under the public gaze. After her relationship with Jacob Sartorius ended in 2018, the then 14-year-old Millie felt the need to release a brief statement addressing their breakup. Millie posted the statement via her Instagram story, and it read, The decision with Jacob and I was completely mutual. We are both happy in remaining friends. And while that's fine and completely on brand for celebrities in public relationships, fans seem to agree that when you're a teenager, celebrity or not, there shouldn't be so much pressure on the success of your relationship to the point where you feel the need to address a breakup. But it seems like the gossip magazines are always ready to cover everything and anything about Millie's boyfriends, from dating to breaking up. And that alone is another thing that doesn't make sense, because no teenager should have to consider public opinion while trying to navigate first loves and heartbreaks. Millie is a successful actress, producer, and business owner, and because of all these accolades and titles, it can be very easy to forget that she is still a growing teenager, barely an adult. But she is still 18 years old, and it seems only natural that fans would have some reservations about her love life, especially the boyfriend she has had in the past. Millie and her current boo, Jake Bon Jovi, seem to be going strong, and we can only hope that there are no weird facts about him or the relationship hidden in the shadows. Not sure the internet can handle another Hunter Echo level of drama about Millie's dating history. Do you think it was right for Millie's earlier relationships to be as public as they were? Is there an actual trend in the types of boys that Millie tends to go for? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this story, feel free to like this video and subscribe to The Chronicle for more inside stories on your favorite celebrities.